Drupal themes can contain templates for all blocks or individual blocks. Another feature of Drupal templates is the ability to theme all blocks that come from a single module. For example, in Drupal Core, the user module provides four blocks, the navigation and user login blocks, which are here on the left sidebar, and the who's online and who's new blocks we have in this footer content one region. In this video, I will show how to affect all these blocks from a single template. Instead of repeating templates for each block that belong to the same module, we can actually just duplicate the standard block template and rename it so it would actually affect all the blocks from a specific module. We can use the theme developer module to get a preview of what this block should be named. So let's go do that. I'm going to open up my Firefox. I'm going to visit my Hensel and Petal site. And I'm going to activate my theme developer module. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this navigation module. We see here that there is the candidate template files, block template, block left, which we'll learn about in the next movie. And then we have block user template and block user one template, both being able to affect the navigation block since it comes from the user module. Now we want to affect all the blocks that come from the user module. So we won't use the one with the dash one in the file name, but instead just block hyphen user dot TPL dot PHP. This block template will affect all the blocks in the user module. Let's go to our theme folder and let's copy the block.tpl.php file and paste it. We'll want to rename this file to block-user.tpl.php and open this file in our text editor. So since this block is just like all the other blocks, we could do a couple things here that are different. One of the changes I would like to make to all the user blocks is to change the heading tag used for the block title. For the user blocks, I just want to change the H2 tag to an H4 tag. Let's see that change now take place in our Drupal site. So I'm going to minimize my text editor. I'm going to go back to the Drupal theme administration screen. I'm going to click refresh so Drupal updates its information about our theme folder, recognizing the new block template. I'm going to go back to my Sunflower screen and I'm going to click refresh on this page. Now we can actually inspect with Firebug the headings for the user blocks. Now we see that in the navigation block, an H4 tag is used for the title. It's styled the same because our style.css file has multiple styles for different heading sizes. Let's scroll down to the bottom and look at the who's new and who's online headers. We now see that the who's new title is also an H4 tag, and we can assume that the who's online is also the same, and it is. Notice the heading is a different size from the other blocks because we're only affecting the blocks that come out of the user module. By now, there should be a pattern forming in your head about how Drupal looks for theme templates. When taking this info and applying it to your own work, remember, most third-party modules can be themed through these same template schemes.